And welcome back. Desperate efforts to stay warm are putting lives in danger. Good morning to uh, Matt Savadsky from uh, MedStar in Tarrant County. See, you're getting so many calls. You sent us 573 responses in 24 hours uh, across your, the Tarrant County service area. How do you prioritize them when you have m more calls uh, coming in than you have people to handle them? You know, Tim, that is a really good question. And when we take 911 calls, we use a very specific evidence-based pro protocol, which is approved by our medical director and an international body that prioritizes those calls. And people who call with chest pain, stroke symptoms, they get a high priority. The people that are calling now are calling in many cases for, hey, my, my power's out, I'm cold, I think I might be hypothermic, or my oxygen machine isn't working because the power is out. Those calls are triaged in, in a much lower level. And in some cases, it might take us 30, 45 minutes to get to those calls, but we call those people back during that time, make sure they're doing okay, um, because we have to be able to respond to the high priority calls um, much more quickly than those low acuity calls. Right. So stroke, heart attack, that's that's an emergency. I'm you know, I, I'm cold is going to be kind of viewed as an inconvenience, but still you want you want to help. Right. But even the ones that that are cold, there are times, Tim, when somebody may call uh, for someone who appears to be hypothermic and they're uh, unresponsive or they have an altered level of consciousness. Mm. Even those calls are going to be triaged at a higher level and get a quicker response than the person who just says, hey, uh, you know, I need to go to the hospital because I'm cold and I'm uncomfortable. And that's a whole different type of call. You've also had call, and we ran a story about this a little while ago, about what's happening over at Cook Children's. They've had uh, more than a dozen cases of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. Just to, to tell people, how does that happen and how serious is it? It can be deadly. It, it, it definitely could be. We've had several cases that have been very critical over the last couple of days. We've had about 16 total uh, since the cold weather came in. And, you know, this is from people using auxiliary heating or running generators in a, in a not well ventilated area. We had a case where people were actually barbecuing um, in an area that, that brought carbon monoxide into the, into the apartment. So uh, this is very serious. And we want to really, as you said, remind people not to do that. Some of the early signs to look for are headache, nausea when you start to see that and you've been you know going into your car to try and stay warm with it running or you've uh, run a generator or an auxiliary heating of some right. kind in your apartment or in your home um, call us let us check it out all right very good thank you great advice and don't be afraid to call they'll kind of walk you through whether it's really an emergency or not matt as always thank you very much thank you tim have a good day you too it is